Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can make an LED simulate candlelight. And as you can see here, I have a plastic jack o' lantern Halloween decoration, and that is what I have in, in there right now. That is not a real candle, that is a simulated candle. Now, this is a plastic um, jack o' lantern, but you could also use this, you know, in a real jack o' lantern, a, a grown pumpkin, that would work fine. You could use this, um, say, you wanted to make um, a table candle that, um, well, didn't actually use wax, this would work as well. There's lots of different applications for this. Um, in this tutorial, I guess I'm just going to show you how you actually build this. So, all right. Um, well, what I think we'll do first is we'll take a look at the, uh, the super simple circuit. And there's only three components to the whole thing. And then what we'll do is we'll take a look at the programming that runs it, which is real simple as well. And we are using a Arduino board to control this project. And don't worry if you're not familiar with Arduinos, this is still, as long as you have some basic electronic skills, you're going to have no problem assembling this and getting it to work. So, all right, well, let's um, go over then and take a look at the circuit itself. So I'll catch you there in just a second. All right, well, I've removed the uh, little LED circuit here from the pumpkin. I was using to demonstrate it uh, working. And as you can see, this is pretty small, easy project. Um, we've only really got three components. We are using a Arduino Nano microcontroller. Now, if you're not really familiar with these, don't worry. This is so simple. You don't really have to know anything about this. Um, all you have to do is the uh, the programming that makes it do this will be available on uh, this project's webpage, in which you can look in the description below to find that information. And I, I'll probably put a schematic on there too on how to hook all this up. But um, to upload this program to this uh, microcontroller, if you've never used them before, is super easy super easy. Um, I'm not going to show how to do that. There are a million videos online on how to do that. So just check it out, how to um, load the Arduino sketch onto an Arduino board. Now I do recommend a Nano for this <clears throat> because it's a smaller microcontroller. But you can also use the Arduino Unos or there's quite a few different boards. A Nano, or not a Nano, um, the Pro Mini is also a smaller one, but it's um, a little more complicated to load the, the programming onto it. Other than that, I'm using a Piranha LED. These are the super bright LEDs. You could use this if you're going to use it in a smaller, like uh, a table candle that you're making. <clears throat> um, you could probably just use a regular LED. You wouldn't have to use one of these Piranha LEDs. But for a bigger item like uh, lighting the jack-o'-lantern, this uh, Piranha LED works perfect for that. And then um, I just have a 33 ohm resistor connected to it because um, this is all powered by 5 volts. And if you put five the full 5 volts to this Piranha LED, it will burn it out. But with a 33 ohm resistor, it cuts the current down enough and you're fine. And then I just have it connected to digital pin 11 on the Arduino board and that's a PWM pin. You could use 10, pin 10, pin 9. Um, I know there's a couple other ones offhand. I can't remember. I think 3 and 5, something like that. But it just worked out with the jumpers, the pre-made jumpers I had. It worked out perfect just to run it to pin 11. And as you can see, that's all there is to it. <laughs> and this um, whole thing could be uh, soldered on one of these little little circuit boards. And these are real cheap. And uh, otherwise, if you're you know, only going to use this temporarily, you know, just for like one Halloween, 
put it on one of these solderless breadboards and you're good to go on that or if you don't know how to solder you could go this way um these are like like 75 cents a piece i think 50 75 cents a piece for one of these and these little um solderless breadboards are like a dollar fifty two dollars depending um, where overseas you order them from. If you order them here locally in the U.S., they are going to be more than that. But, um, all right. Um, I think that's about all we need to go over. Oh, I'll just turn it on here, too, to show you it working. There we go. You should be able to see it's varying in its brightness. And I'm running this off a battery pack which is a nice thing with this you can use a battery pack and you'll get a <coughs> get a couple hours out of it otherwise just use a wall wart and if this is you know you're going to be using this like in the jack-o-lantern um just use a wall wart and you could just let the thing run for three days straight if you want to it ain't gonna hurt nothing all right um well let's go over to the computer and i'll run through the um the arduino sketch really quick but um, if you're not familiar with the Arduino, don't worry. Click on the link below to the website, um, and you could just down download um, the uh, or copy the, the sketch, the Arduino programming, and then upload it. So if you don't know anything about Arduinos, don't be scared away on this project. It's really easy. All right. Well, I'm gonna fire up the computer. <clears throat> and we'll take a look at the sketch and how it works really quick. So I'll catch you there in just a second. All right, I got the Arduino IDE opened up here so we can take a look at the sketch. And as you can see, this is about as simple as you can get. Um, I think the only easier sketch, smaller sketch I've ever seen before is probably the just the blinking LED. But, uh, all right, let's just get right into it. So what we're doing here first is we're defining which pin the LED light is on. Now, of course, I'm using 11, but if you're using like pin 10 or 9 or whatever, just change that number right there. That's all you got to do. And then we have an integer, and I'm just calling that RN. And what we're using this for is to um, store the value of a random number that we're going to generate here in a moment. I'll get to in the void setup, we're just setting the LED pin as an output, of course. Now, in the void loop, <clears throat> so what we're doing is we're making the RN equal, and then we're generating a random number, so we're putting in random. And I found um, the value of 50 to 255 works pretty good. You can go a little bit lower than the 50, uh, and it'll it'll work, um, but it seems between from the 50 to the 255, the random number between there, it really simulates the candlelight a lot better. I did try it once with it at 10, and sometimes it'd be extremely, extremely almost like not almost not on. And once I worked out, got to 50, it was looking pretty good. So you can go ahead and play with that, but I recommend just using 50 there. So then um, what we're doing is we're analog writing the LED, the random number that we generated. So it's going to be the number between 50 and 255. And we're, <clears throat> you remember for the PW pins, 0 is off and 255 is full on. And anywhere between there is um, different down voltages. So the LED will be brighter or dimmer. Then uh, what we're doing here is we're doing a delay of 200 milliseconds between each change. Now I did play with this a little bit. 100 does work too, and that actually works if you wanted it to um, act more like it was in a windy environment, simulated candlelight. That works really good. Um, <laughs> 300 just kind of seemed a little slow to me, so I I recommend between 100 200. You can try 300 and see what you think, but I'll leave that up to you. All right, and that's all there is to it. All there is to it. So um, 
Well, look, to get a copy of this, if you don't want to type it in, but I mean, how easy it is, you'd probably type it in almost as quick as you could download it. But you just look in the description below, go to my website, and you can copy it and paste it right into the Arduino IDE. And that's all, all there is to it. So I would like to thank you for joining us here at the Z Hut today. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it very, very much. So I'd like to uh, say, well, have a great day. And here's a couple more minutes of the jack-o'-lantern running with the simulated candlelight LED in it.